You do impressions of... of, of uh, vice I make pre- impressions. Vice pre- you make impressions. I make impressions, yeah. Vice President of Biden, you, of course, you did Mitt Romney impressions. Mm-hmm. And then, because of these political impressions, you were invited on Meet the Press. Yeah. Which is one of America's most serious, sober, analytical political talk shows. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Yeah. How did that go? I, that was, I, I mean, I don't know, because I didn't, I didn't watch it, because I don't want, I don't want the, that, that, that show to, you know, fall in, 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 you know, in its quality in my mind. They had myself and Fred Armisen on there, uh, um, David Gregory, who, who hosted, uh, yeah, asked us questions about our, our point of view of, of, of politics and, and, and what, what we think make these, uh, these uh, politicians click. And I'm like, I, I'm an idiot. Like, I'm, I literally dropped out of community college. You do not, don't ask me. Ask a newspaper editor or a pundit or, or something, uh, and, and yet because you can sort of talk like these, uh, these, these people, they sometimes think that we know more than we do, and I'm here to tell you, we don't. <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> no you, idea. You, have, uh, you came up with a, a key into doing a Mitt Romney impression. What was the key? It was sort of something you, well, there, you, you thought about what he sounded like. Yeah, well, there were two things w- for, for me with, uh, with Mitt Romney, uh, w- one of which is that uh, he has a very similar tone in my, in my mind to George Clooney. Like they, they both have great like, kind of like radio voices, you know, like, they're kind of like back in the throat. Now, mind you, I know that the politics of Mitt Romney and the politics of George Clooney are very, very different, and they, they, they use their instruments in different ways, kind of like how, you know, Nickelback and the Black Keys play the same instruments, but they use them in very different ways. <laughs> Ways, right? uh, I know that, but that that was one thing that I that I that I that I noticed. Like, like it's like this great voice, and then as doing it time and time again, I realized that Mitt Romney actually the voice that I'm doing is basically when black standups do a white guy voice. They're doing like that voice, like oh hey man, how you doing, buddy? You know, it's like it's like, <laughs> like whatever, you, whatever, whatever Eddie Murphy would do, like you know, on white SNL. guys can't dance, kind of. Yeah, thing, absolutely. Yeah. Like hey buddy, hey hey man, how you doing? Like it's like, and I was like I was like, well I'll just do that all the time, and that's uh, and that's next that's, thing you know, you were on Meet the Press. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and now holidays coming up. You going back to you, you go back to Kansas City? Yeah, you know, that's Kansas right. City. Do you, do you go back there for the holidays? I do. I just was there for a, a couple days for Thanksgiving, and then I'll go back for uh, for Christmas. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, it's all, always fun. I've I've dabbled with staying in hotels. I've I've, I've uh, but I, I think it's time to go back and stay at home. Uh, you know, in my parents' home, the same house uh, my sisters and I grew up in, and uh, my father's only going to charge me five grand a night, he promises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to talk him down if I do chores, but uh, <laughs> we'll see if I can get it down to 2500 Are they but... excited about you being in show business, or are they kind of jaded about it? No, I think they, they are excited. If, if, if I get, when I go home, I'm usually, my mom has me sign DVDs or, or, or like, you know, pictures for, for clients. She's a travel agent, one of the best in the biz, and so I'll, I'll, I'll do that. And, and, you know, you sign things for their various, uh, charitable endeavors and and uh, yeah no they're 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 enthusiastic it's very it's very sweet I I, I was I was very I was blessed to have there, parents there were, that were so uh, supportive it is sweet my mom I've told the story before my mom used to go to the Star Market in yeah. Chestnut Hill which is right near where near where we live in Brookline yeah. and when I was first on the air first couple of years of late night she would go there and she would keep late night with Conan O'Brien keychains in her purse yeah and she would say to the cashier like you like television <laughs> I'd be like yeah okay. you like late night television <laughs> It's okay. You like Conan? <laughs> He's all right. Have some yeah. keychains. <laughs> God bless her, though. Yeah. She's a yeah. good, you know. Yeah. That's what you want.